Okie doke. Hi, everyone. Uh, happy Friday to you. You need to watch the previous two videos to have any idea of what I'm doing. But I drew this one on Monday using this pattern called Lyric. And then I decided I wanted to use this template, this, this uh, mandala string that I did to do Paradox. So I did on the next video on Wednesday. But what I want to try now is I want to combine the auras of this with the paradox of this and see what happens. We're experimenting this week and just doing a bit of what if. So let's draw. I've already done the uh, pencil part. If you want to see how I drew the pencil part, go back to Monday. There's no point in you guys watching this three different times. And the only difference between that first one on Monday and this one is that I've put a little extra little box, like a border, which I did on the Paradox. And I'm going to do the exact same thing I did over there. And I'm going to just fill that in with solid black. going to do is we're going to do the guidelines here and then we're going to aura everything like I did on Monday and then we're going to put the paradox inside. Now it's going to look a little different because I am using a different size piece of paper. That one I did with paradox was a little bit big. For direct comparison, I should have done them all on the same size piece of paper, but what's done is done. It's not what I did, so it's okay. It's easiest to do a circle if I already have these, because then I'm only just doing this little arch, one little arch at a time. That's easier for me. And then our little box. We're just going to just dig right in here with the brush pen. It looks like, um, remember back in the day, maybe you're not old enough, but maybe you are because most of my audience is over the age of 40. So you probably do remember. This looks like the test pattern for the television. <laughs> Very similar, doesn't it? My son doesn't understand the uh, the idea of the test pattern. I said, well, back in the day, first off, the television shows actually turned off at a certain time. I think late night television was till, what was it, 11? And then that was it. There's no television after that until the next morning, till the morning news. Um, but I said, they put the test pattern on. First off, so you knew at home that your TV was working. It just was after programming hours. But it also gave the engineers the opportunity to um, fix the white balance, fix the color, um, 
a focus, all of those things. Okay, so let's aura. Aura is the next step. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit. Oy, that cap's on there good. Now this one in the middle is not going to have a whole lot of room for any pattern, which is okay. Looks like a segmented orange. I've never done paradox with a um, a border around each segment, so this will be interesting. Don't forget to do the uh, UTB things. Like, subscribe, make a comment, all of those things if you are watching on a smart TV. I actually have a video somewhere on my channel of how to find the like button on a smart TV. You can't comment unless you happen to have one that's connected to some sort of keyboard and even then I'm not sure how it pops up on the YouTube app on the TV it might not you might not have that option however hit if you are watching because I know a good number of my viewers do watch on a TV um, what you have to do is push the up button while the video is playing you can't get don't do it like right at the end of the video if the, if that's gotten to the point where the um, end screen is up there where the the thing that says you know watch this next uh, suggested video boxes are up there if you've gotten to that point on somebody's video it's too late to hit the like button you have to back up a little bit But um, what you need to do is hit that up button. Then on the bottom of the screen, it should show like the channel name and or the name of the video and then the channel name and then the like, the dislike, the all the other things over here in this corner just arrow over um, to the like button and then hit enter and there you go and it'll disappear on its own after you've done that that's also where you find closed captioning if you are watching on the TV and you need the closed captioning that's where it's located um, I don't know if you can go into your global YouTube settings on your computer or your phone and permanently turn on closed captioning. That might also be an option. Uh, I'm not sure. I only use it occasionally if the if the sounds in the inside the house are too much going on around me. I will turn on closed captioning just so I don't miss anything because it's loud around me. Or if, like my husband's having a uh, Zoom meeting, I will turn the sound off on the TV altogether and I will just watch it via closed captioning. My husband doesn't like the closed captioning because he can't read fast enough uh, to 
to do him any good. He, he misses most of it. He can't read and follow along as to what's going on on the show, so he'd just as soon just watch in silence if he had to, or, you know, if things are loud, just whatever. But, okay, there, we're back to that same basic thing that we were at at the beginning of of this one. But instead of putting this pattern in there, I'm going to put Paradox in there. But I think I want to follow the same order I did for this one. So I'm going to put this one up so I have a reference. And I did... I did here, I did the fan shape. Interesting. Interesting. Now it's not going to take near as long to draw this one because it's much smaller. fan thinks it's warm enough to come on. I didn't think it was that warm, but maybe the sun has come out. It is almost one o'clock. I have a 2.30 appointment. So I have to leave the house by two o'clock, but I should have plenty of time to finish this off. And I can bring it in the house, upload it to get it ready to go for the 12th of January. We had a, a cool day. Uh, let's see, what did I do here? I did them all clockwise. Having cool days, uh, a little bit of rain, not much yet, but then again, I am drawing this in December, and it's early in December, so there's that. Okay, so now I did this section as a twist, which means I have to go the opposite way. That was a little bit much. I'm going to add an extra line in there.
looks so totally different. Oh, this is so cool. I've never done this before. This is so cool. So should I, I'm definitely shading, do I need to highlight, and if I do, what color do I need to highlight, because I can't highlight in yellow, because I chose a yellow piece of paper. Okay. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Oh, I'm going to have to play with this technique some more look at look at the difference between let me zoom out so you guys can see that paper is so much bigger but look at look at now see this is what I was talking about the other day about the scrap book scrap pack that one and that one came out of the same pile of sizes they're not the same this is a bit smaller but that and that you can tell that's based on the same thing this is harder to tell oh that is so cool oh I'm, I'm can you tell I'm excited I'm excited this is so cool okay let's let's do a little bit of shading insides just in the insides of each of these think want to you know, do 
two white white highlights maybe is this working yeah okay Trying to avoid the the aura pieces because that's not where my paradox pattern is. It's inside of that, like the framework. I feel like I want some blue on here for some reason. It's telling me that it wants blue. So that's okay. You know, listen to your art. I know it's, it sounds weird, but your instinct, your gut will tell you. your art. Once you've breathed life into it it, it, it does seem to take a life of its own. Watch keeps buzzing at me, and I don't know. It must be. It must be notifications. I did have. Uh, someone I know lost her father this week, and we just got that notification today. So it's probably condolence stuff that post. I may have to turn off notifications on that post. Not that I don't want to con console her, it's just that, uh, yeah, I don't need all of everybody that she knows um, giving her condolences. I'm going to go with the baby blue. Because for some reason I feel like it wants blue. Sort of this bluey green color. What's it called? Um, Prismacolor, it's called Light Aqua. Not doing it on the whole thing. I'm not doing it like a solid. Just doing a quick swipe. Just so your eye sees the blue.
think I want to, on this one, I want to put a little bit of shading here. And then smudge it out. like that okay I like it what do you guys think I think it needs a white dot right smack in the middle why I don't know but it wants, it wants a white dot right there come on you're not drawing just that tiniest little dot Makes a difference, at least it does to me. <laughs> Another paradox. I love what happened. That is so different and so interesting. Not like any other paradox I've ever done, which was fascinating to me. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Go out and do something nice for someone today. I have an appointment to get to, so I got to get my 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 butt in gear. Uh, I will see you guys on the next one, uh, which will be next week, which will be halfway through January. Can you believe it? Halfway through January. All right, you guys have a blessed day. Uh, go out and do something nice for someone today. Make the world a better place, one person at a time. Uh, dwell on the positive things that happen in your day. Don't don't keep uh, harping on the things that are negative, and that will make your life better. Because that's what I did yesterday. I dwelt on the negative, and um, and that's not cool. So um, today today is going to be dwelling on the positive, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.